Yeah, so today we're gonna continue play Horus Heresy right, so Legion. So today we're gonna continue the rest of Angel's event, but different from the usual video where I just play live in the video, I would actually do some playback because I just played through a few rounds as a Zeklan. As a result, I want to do a, f I want to show you a few rounds that I played that was kind of meaningful for me. So that uh, it's about is I play as the Zeklan. So let's see how we do. Let's that's how we do it. Like let's see the see the places. So we're gonna first see this is the beginning of Spectre. Right? Just that was was the one with his, where is the Samus. So here we have this card. So the deck I choose for Zeklan in this time is inflexible troops, which turns out to be very useful. Somehow. I don't know why, but let's see. So he um he makes me unattackable. So I put in a clone of squads to make a bait so that he would not attack me. Hmm. So he chooses to put in a Erika Erika Trads, which is kind of very really useful. So I here I use an abundant supplies. I that draw uh. The Angel's Tears, which turns out to be very useful right now because it's only cost 3, which is pretty good. So he heals 3 for himself, and he tries to attack me. No, he doesn't attack me, I forget. But anyway, yeah, he did, he, 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 he did attack me, but anyway. So now he's in a uh, slight advantage right now, because he is. And uh, I think I put and just no, I put the secretary squad in. So we killed a crowd trap was very good, so that he has no healings anymore. So he put a rod fly thing, a very powerful troop, of course. So here he makes he makes an mistake because I'll just put the just tears in and use him to kill that guy off. So I put Angel's Terrorist in and I use him to attack that squad with that troop, which is a mistake, turns out to be because well it is. So here due to the due to the requisitions, he did 3 damage to the enemy warlord, which is pretty nice. And now he he puts an mutation on Rodfly, which is a pretty smart move, I think. Yes. This is a very live, this is a very live um um, stop saying uh, But I think I use these abilities. I did, yeah. Ah. So I use the Angel's Terrors to uh his ab his ability to attack him. And that leaves me uh no stuff, like no fun like something else. So I put a fourth side on him. So then I attack him. Oh I thought I attacked rough light, I didn't realize that, yeah. Dude, I just played that. How come I missed that? So he put a uh, play grade on me, which is a pretty disgusting hell because I cannot attack him. So he here he does not say that because I'll definitely use my abilities. So here I put out if I put the, my ability thing and I put the rhino thing I suppose. I remember. Yeah, I did he put the rhino thing. Here he lost the 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 what he lost, by the way? He lost the... Um, the, the... Wait, what he lost? Wait, he lost the uh, Prefragmentions. So, he attacked me, and he gave me a rod flies. He put another play grinding. So here, the rest, the, the rest of the play becomes very risky for me. Uh, so here I use the defensive satellite. Here I use the defensive satellite, and it turns out uh, pretty well actually somehow. But I should just attack him, but because so we win. Yeah, I just try to humiliate him this turn, which is not a good thing. But anyway, so this is our victory with Sa against Samuels. Then my next play is gonna be against. Uh, Against Lord 
Flies, which I remember is a very risky game. I don't know which one, but it's like different one. Oh, I know, I think it's the 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 the, 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 the dreadnought one. Yeah, but it's like against the boss, so I don't think there's any meaning of play that. So this is a very easy round. Yeah, this is a very easy round for me actually. So he using abundant supplies. He doesn't draw my house, which is kind of a very normal. I mean, very good move, I suppose. We salute you. We salute you. Yeah, this is my favorite lines of all warlord. This is my favorite line. Wait, what did he say? You may address me, yes. And um, yeah, that's his word. So we salute each other. Very polite beginning, as you say. This is. They should put a lot of they should put points on all the flies, I have to admit. But I still put a secondary squad in because that's the best thing I can put to see in this turn right now. So I don't think Oh, I just thought the game just crashed or not. But anyway. Make my mission difficult. Give him a little bit greetings. Like compliments there. Very good, very good. So he put a wolf body, which is very disgusting, because it is. <laughs> so I put and just here, of course. Then I just attack him, because why not? We could we, we, def we defeat the wolf body, which is a very smart move and a very clean move for us, because it's disgusting. So he used the defensive maneuver, which is a card stab, it looks very good. But not least in the bow. But now, listen a bow, listen a bow, listen a bow. So I actually make a mistake here. I made a mistake here. If you want to read those. So here, you see, I can actually use my abilities while I put a tank in. But I can't, I realize I'm gonna make a mistake. Yeah, never mind. But anyway, so he saw he lose. So he used a defensive satellite, which did not kill any of my stuff. Which is good. But he used the steel health. House steel, I don't know how to say that. But anyway. So in return, I did nothing. Just kidding, I did something. So I used Pride Squad. So also, so I used my tanks abilities to, to summon a Horror Squad, which allows me to deal extra damage. So here he made a mistake, a ginormous mistake. Here we used the abilities, of course. And I remember he put on a troop saying. No, he used, he put a defensive satellite. But that's where it gets so annoying that the drop pod actually survived. And he tried to refill the energy, which I think worked. Oh, it does not work. He tried to use Force Bomb, but it does not kill my troops. It, is, it does not destroy my drop pods here. But he puts in a server, which is a very confused move. But anyway. So I choose just to attack him. Where's the dread? I put him dread out. Because. Impressing him. But. And we just attack him. Yes. Yes. So he retreat. Which is a smart move. I mean, if you have front line, he may work. Yeah. So next, we are gonna show you the... Let's see what they play be. So in the last two turns, I, cho I choose to just retreat at the beginning because I don't want you to play it. Because... So basically what's happening is that I used a Zeklin this time just to gain money in order to, 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 uh, to draw a crate. Turns out I played very well I think. So I wanna put an honorable Joseph field, but that's a very risky move. Looks great round. I will show you at last. But I will show you how I fight as an against against another Ezekiel who is playing better than me somehow. So here we so we lost this round, first of all, because as you see it already. I am master of the Sanguinary God. Sanguinary God. In all things. <laughs> and so funny. So I draw and I get a bit Velatoris. Then he put in uh, a sub squad, which is annoying. So in in, in order to make the damage less to, le to make less damage, I chose to attack. However, you also put clone squad in to make a bait that he will not attack me. 
and he used Angus Rasp, which is a very smart, very, very smart item. So he attacks the squad, and uh, he does not squad attacks me in, in return. So this is where I feel a little bit disappointing. So he approaches the guitar squadron, however, it does not kill it, it just it attacks this, which is disappointing after all. So he used a command spray to give him a tactic. Tactic. So he puts in a jump squad. Golden Star Hunter, airport stuff. So he chose to kill my Skatari troops, which is very bad. So here, I think I put the Parada veteran thing. Yes. So this is where everything stuck. What's happening? So why he stopped? I forget why he stopped. He's so he attacked me though eventually. So it's waiting a long time, waiting for a long time. What a shame. Jeez, so I brought in uh, a milk squad and I tried to give myself. Oh, I didn't. But I put the horror squad in the oh, no, I don't. That's a mistake. I should put him in. So here, here, we see this guy into the battle, which is a very big slooper. Very big slooper. So I used the horror squad in and I put in a hollowly spike to kill him. To kill this bastard. Uh -huh. But yeah, I just use them. That's where things get better. A little bit better. Slightly better, but just attack him. So I attacked him also. Which is a big. It's a true victory. So he puts in a very powerful squad. A lot of Lorator squad. Which is very high damage. Which I feel bad that my troops died. That. So I think I put a parade of veteran thing as expected. That's what I would do because it's, uh, it's my playing. It's my playing. So here he up he upgrade his uh, assault squad because he has a stop before and he attacked me. That's a very smart move actually. I have to admit. So no matter what, no matter what, but no matter what, I put Angel's Tears thing. I should, I should just attack him. Yeah, he. Oh, wait. So I was forced on him, which is a very wrong move after I realized what's happening right now. So I tried not. I did not try to um, kill that uh, assault squad. But he kills my Angel's Tears. I feel bad about it. Very bad. So I think there's no point of playing because he definitely won this round, next round. There's no way for me to win, basically. I have no energies, no stuff, as a result I quit. Or did I? No, I just still sign myself. So just get up. So I'll do everything I can to see if I can do something good, but it turns out to be useless. Very useless. Very useless. So I think I have a way to turn back by putting that car in, by putting that motor strike truck in. But anyway, so let's see a last round again. This is a bot, but uh, against a vulnerable Joseph here, who does not latent me because it's a bot. But anyway, so this is a very risky move, risky turn. You'll see why. Command me. Saying was pride, I get that. Command me. You, you, you loser. You're not an asshole, thank you. But he, because he's a bot, he's stupid. But he's smart enough to get my volunteer squads off. So that's smart. That's smart. You are smart, but so you supply not here. As you see, <laughs> I can foresee the future. I have foresight, like Sanguri do. Huh. So he puts in a technical squad, who is a pi alpha squad, who is super. Uh, mm. Anyway, but I use a target strike. Win win for me. This move is win for me. Then I can just give three, two troops at one time, which is very good, very very good. 
So here he um, put in a goldstone hunter. I I I one use goldstone hunter pretty good. Supposedly, but I put the guitar squad and again. This is my favorite squad right now. It's a, it's my it's the most useful squad I have ever used. It's like I will try back to to take it in my deck in in my wall. So it's pretty good. So here he made a stupid mistake. Does he the bot? He used Shakasad, which does not affect his trooper at all eventually. But he put in uh Dracula squad, try to get me a lot of health off. But it's not a very ideally. So I put up a Barris Rhino, a Columbus squad, and I try to draw a Tartic, but this does not work. I draw a Mortal Carrier, haha, <laughs> which is bad. But he draws a sign signal squad in. Not a good move, and he uses Bane Demon on my tr on my tank, which is on my Rhinos, which is not a good move also. But he's a bot. How can we that? So here we see all the squads revive from the dead. So we use defensive satellite, defense satellite, which is very good for four, which is very good I should say. But we have we hack him, and we use the Clutter squads to attack him also. It's not to be very useful. So then, somehow I was managed to get it. So I use a Helio Kelly and attack him, and I attack him again. So here, this is where it gets risky, very risky, because you see it's 11 attacks right now. So, so it gets full health, which is very good. Normally, he would just attack, as yes, he did. And, uh, yeah. So I put in on Tylerly Strike. There. So as you see, I used the Tylerly Strike to get him off. The, bo the board, I choose. Then he gets front line and he just attacked him with a Day Clone and Mortar Carrier. So this is where it gets risky, because if I do not successfully get him, I'm dead, so I win. So this is a very risky move. I have 50-50% chance to win this round, but turns out it's pretty good. But anyway, that's all, that's all that we play today. I played before, so just a memory. So but anyway, so in the last two rounds, I just tried to get a crate. Okay, that's pass a puzzle, so I just stopped doing that. But anyway, there you go, guys. This is the end of the video. So I speak a lot faster in this videos, which is um, which I apologize for that, because first time doing this, everybody first time. But anyway, see you guys later, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to see more video on Horus Heresy Legion, subscribe to my channel. I'll be besides that. If you want to see more video on Horus Heresy Legion, subscribe to my channel. Besides that, see you guys later. Stay healthy and also stay positive. Bye guys. Well, that's it clearly. That's it clearly. But anyway, so if. I'll just say again, but. If you want to see some new content, some new videos, some new games, comment in the section below or tell me about your wishes. That's actually a better way to say it, but speak a little too fast today because I haven't made videos for a few days already, so sorry about that again. But see you guys later. Bye guys!